There you go. So we have another mail time. But this guy opened everything prior to doing mail time. So he's going to show what he opened. Anyway, uh, War Performance, again, reached out to me and said that I was, they saw that I was in the truck and they saw that I put electric fans on it and I was going to wire it and he hit me up and he's like, we sell a wiring kit for those fans. So they actually sent me the wiring kit for the fans. Now mine is relays, but it's all the connectors and then a group disconnect for it. So that's incredible. And he asked me what else I was going to do. And I'm like, uh, I feel weird asking for stuff, but any more people yell at me when I don't, cause they're like, we sell that. We would have sent you it. So I was like, well, I'm going to be splitting cam and crank signals to go into the Holly. So he sent me cam and crank splitters in two different lengths. <laughs> Extremely nice. And then he sent high temperature loom for the wiring because this goes by the headers. Normally you insulate the, the crank and uh, you could do the fans or whatever else. So heat shroud gold performance sleeving. And then this was pretty funny. He sent me another throttle body. And I cracked it open and I'm like, oh, is it, is it different or is it new or did they change something? Is it for the truck? They sent me a pink one. It's bubblegum pink. <laughs> and then I looked and I was like, I thought it was like custom and a joke. It literally says uh, finish powder coat pink. Like it's actually a part that they always have. I didn't know that they did that. So that's funny. Uh, this will not be going on the truck. As of right now, it could. This does bolt to the Holly High Ram that I have. The only thing is I'm testing the drive-by-wire on that truck. It is a drive-by-wire truck. So that's what I'm using. And I'm messing with the pedals and doing some other stuff because that's what I want to learn more about. So I could convert to this down the line if I really wanted to, but I already have all the functionality and I'm testing a Snake Eater throttle body. So what I already decided to do with this and told the guy, when I posted this, Dane Thompson said, that's really cool. And he, he mentioned a bunch of stuff. That's, that's my style. Yeah, and well, I he thought about the stuff. 50 things he sent me that he's painted himself. And he has like, he has some rando. I said, oh wait, you want to send it to Dane? I told him I would just send it to him. Cause oh. I'm assuming they didn't even tell me they would send this, but obviously people are going to see it. And I'm assuming they know me and what I do. Uh, sending it to me means I could cut it in half. Uh, if there's no stipulations, I could just take it apart and show everybody well, what's I, inside. I approve it going to Dane. So that's what I, you know, I let him know before I said anything in the video. And because he made the comment and he sent me so much, I was like, well, dude, do you have provisions to bolt this on? And would you talk about it? You can say whatever you want. And he's like, I can. I have like a chintzy weird four bolt thing because he has an elbow intake. He has the carbureted lower with the elbow or something. Uh, I was like, well, I'll show it to people and then I will ship it to you. And I will not accept. My, that's his chicken. I know. I'm pulling, I'm pulling the, chicken. the chicken out. So this is I his thought, channel. This is Dane's channel. I thought. Uh, since Bam. I'm Burn getting, down garage. I'm getting given something. I can't use right now, I might as well give it to somebody that I, that can use it. Okay. Are you, did you pee yourself yet? I'm dying laughing. I put the chicken over your head. It was great. <laughs> anyway, so Dane, uh, you're on notice. I told you it's coming. Now I can just, I can put it in a flat rate and ship it out to you. So there it is. And uh, I had a bunch of people ask, uh, the cheaper China throttles do whistle a lot of times. And I know people always talk about war performance because they, they modify the inlet and outlets so that that doesn't happen, so that they don't whistle. And then also they lock tight, they pre lock tight the bolts that they put in. So they do all of that QC already. I think it's funny that they offer a actually powder coated pink throttle body. Mm -hmm. I actually have to go look, do they have like 50 colors or something? I don't know. Can you choose your own? That I'm intrigued now, genuinely. So, I have that, and they sent me stickers, which I will also send to Dane. To Dane. And in case anybody didn't didn't catch it, this is Dane's 
YouTube. Insert, cool <laughs> insert, guy. Insert chicken now. Cool guy. Burn down garage. Not just because he sent me 20 mugs. He didn't send me 20. It's been, a, he it's sent been more four. than enough. He sent four mugs. One is more than enough. So he sent like four. And we still use them. You used the lime green one the other day. Awesome guy. Anyway, I wanted to reward him. He was the first guy. Mostly people are like emasculated or like, whoa. Oh, Perry. they're like, it's not Periwinkle. He's like, man, that's my jam. Imagine something. if it showed up Periwinkle. Oh my God. We Now we... It's funny you brought that up because Joey Fowler and other people brought it up. And I was like, I should make a suggestion. I don't know if they just do colors on a whim or you can ask for it and then they paint it after. Uh, I was like, maybe we should produce a periwinkle four bowl throttle body. And I'm like, so three people will buy it. And Joey Fowler's like, well, I'm one of them. We only need one more. Me, Didn't him, and Joey. Did you put periwinkle on the truck? The piping. Yeah. You had some That's left. the whole joke. I know. I had it in the attic. Yeah, I know. So on we're this gonna truck. put it on, on this truck. On my new truck. That's the joke. Yeah, you had it on the Colorado. That's why I laid it in there because I mean, what we'd like to do is go to four inch, but I think I have all three, and I think we're just gonna stick with three because the intercooler is three inch, the turbo outlet's three inch. I mean, the Snake Eater throttle is gigantic, so that's like what's funny is using that now is a hurdle because it's so large that like I have to adapt to it. But we're figuring some stuff out with that. We'll do something, but uh, yes. So he'll get that. And I'll send him the stickers and I'll talk to him ahead of time. If I have extension harnesses left over still. So if he wants any of that stuff, I will also ship him some other war performance goodies. But simply because he jumped all over the pink throttle body, he's gonna get it. So on top of that, I'd like to talk about Low Dollar Motorsports sent me some sensors also. And this is a guy that I came into contact with when the Terminator ECU came out. People were asking about like genuinely good tested sensors sold by a good dude. Because I would tell people you can get a hundred dollar sensor from Holly and some other places and you can get an eighteen dollar sensor off Amazon or China but you should buy five because one or two are going to go bad. It's just it's just how it's going to go. Uh, they're super cheap. If some of them make it through the heat and vibration of the first week or two of the vehicle uh, they make it. <laughs> so for slightly more, uh, about $35 a piece, uh, you get these, well he sells, this is a zero to 100, most commonly used for motorsports people. So they're about 35 a piece and he sends them with the pigtails and crimps and everything. And he sends a data sheet, which is actually a printout of a Holly scale and wiring pin out. So he sends all that with it. And he guarantees them, and he warranties them, and he tests them ahead of time for accuracy. And he's a cool dude, and I've talked to other people about him, and everybody likes his product. So early on when the Terminator stuff was coming out, people are like, buy the cheapest sensor. It's crap, though. And then I'm like, that's, that's honest assessment. And the expensive one is very expensive. It's tough to stomach the price. So we would suggest this guy, and he would say thanks. And every other post would be, I already bought them from Brandon, he's a great guy, blah, 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 ad nauseum. <laughs> Eventually, after I suggested him so many times, he's like, could I please send you some to use and review? And then I said, I will, if we can supply, like, a dis if I talk about him, I'd like to supply a discount code to people purchasing. I think all of that's fair, so. What's the discount code? Sloppy, at checkout. Oh, I, already, I posted about it on Instagram, and I posted about it on Sloppy, and I'm like, I'm not gonna get a video out in time, because he said he would do it till Sunday night, which was Two last days ago? night? Two days ago. Two days ago, sorry. Uh, and I was like, well, I'd like to make a video. Would you extend it? And he's like, yep, end of the month. So 31st, you can get 5% off, and if you spend over 35 bucks, like over the cost of one sensor, he gives you free shipping, so. What's funny is it puts you into a funny spot. I think he corrected it because the 5% puts you right at, if you buy the sensor, it would be free, kinda. But if you use the discount, it puts you under. I've had it happen to me too, where I get a discount and then it, anyway. So he's offering that, he sells, check out his site. It's low dollar, as in his, his brand, his name is Brandon Dollar. Yeah, which I thought was pretty, pretty And it's cool. E-R, oh. not dollar american dollar ar mm. let me just show everybody quick so there's no confusion any stickers or low dollar motorsports it's a play on words imagine that damn so look him up he sells like did you see it 
Yeah, he's in Indiana. He he sells like ride height sensors, like infrared that look at the ground. And then he has shock travel sensors. A lot of serious people use his stuff. Uh, I had asked, uh, and people are like, I've been buying stuff from him for two years. He's a great guy, you know. Yeah, you've, said, you've said great things about him over the So he's very days. credible. Obviously, I like to support small business. And uh, what's funny is I just talked about him so much, he reached out to me. So same thing with like War Performance. What's crazy is they came out of nowhere. I heard of them, and I got a box from them one day. No obligation. And I'm like, that's cool. I can't not think you guys are cool because of that. And then they send me a pink throttle body. And then I post about it on Instagram. And some guy goes, matches your pink panties. And I go, except I can't find the mud stains. And then, because <laughs> it's hard to insult me. Are you serious? It's hard to insult me. I miss that. And I don't, I haven't looked at your Instagram in a while. And then, War Performance likes the comments. <laughs> Anyway, so they're at least funny. They, at least they're funny. They have a sense of humor, and they're veteran-owned. Oh, they are? Yes. Aw. So, cool. you're You're, like, creating a, a nice little, like, group of people that were all in the military. A lot of them are military. Because, like, I think, well, that, I think the appreciation of my satire comes from non-serious military type. Hmm. Or I will, I will do and say something, and they're like, My Tennessee's funnier than you, though. Yeah. I have never drawn a penis inside an engine, and not nearly as much as he has, which I think is every time he's had the opportunity. Yes, he draws. You turn around, and he's like, penis, <laughs> and then you're like, where? He's like, I don't know, what happened? And then all of a sudden, Bob comes out and pees on the floor. Yeah. So, that guy's a character. I, th I guess that's what, you know, as he has it told me, that's what you learn in the army, is how to creatively draw penises everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and monkeys, I guess, too. He yes. makes some nice monkeys. He's gotten good at drawing. He draws them on the guys who he buys stuff from him. He draws it on the boxes. Oh, now we're going to make him have to do it now. Now, if I talk about him too much, he's going to send me stuff. And that's going to make me mad. Sorry. Well, <laughs> Let me tell you a story about Monkey Fab. Wait a second. So, we're talking about Monkey Fab, Mike Hennessy. Great guy. He's all over YouTube. And he sells his own parts. So, here you go. Go ahead, Matt. What's your funny story about Mike? Oh, I, I, uh, people, every now and then someone might complain I get free things and that's why I'll talk about the person. Of course I'm going to talk about someone that sends me anything for free. Oh. And then second, uh, I tried to order, I did not this, want... He was sneaky. I didn't want to ask Mike for anything for the truck, but I wanted Monkey Fab stuff and I purchased it. Get this. Within that, five minutes. That jerk cancels my order, puts in more than I ordered and ships it anyway. <laughs> I got the email for that. So let me tell you guys. <laughs> he wouldn't even let me buy his product. Uh, anyway, so this is cool. I'm going to use all this. I'm going to do a video on wiring the fans, even though it's, it's pretty easy. This is going to Dane, and we're going to throw in, uh, maybe we can draw penises in it. And, uh, you know, I'm not very good at it. Can no, you draw one? I can, yes, I can draw. There we go. Here we go. How about I have, here's a good one. What? Let's connect the internet and we'll have Mike Hennessy draw one, text it to me, I will print it and put it in. And why don't I just put a couple nice things in for Dane? That's like in penis inception. Is that how babies are made? <laughs> I, wow. Anyway. We've had an interesting week. Today is just all about laughing. So. Trying. Trying. Yeah. So uh, anyways, I have some questions some for you, stuff, Matt. Put some stuff in here for stuff. Dane. I already you take know. care of that for Dane. Yeah, I can do That's that. That's your responsibility. Right. Anyways, I have some questions. All right. What are you waiting for on the truck? We'll put Joey Fowler on blast, I guess. Okay, so we're waiting on Joey. All right. <laughs> all right, Joey. I know where you live. The other day, he's like, oh, I have it done by uh, uh, Joey. You're we're just, we're messing Joey. with you. We're I am in no you. way rushing you, but this is funny. Uh, he's like, oh, I'll have it done by whatever. I'm not up to anything. He's taking his Christmas break to build. I, I've, I've talked about it. When I get it, I want to talk about it a lot. He's taking one of his manifolds and cutting it horizontally halfway through on the bottom. And he's doing a divided log. So it's taking the cylinder. It's, it's Normally the log, obviously, is being fed from the one side and being fed with the other side. And then all of it together goes into the turbo, and it does work great. So on a more professional, I shouldn't say more professional, that is a professional hot side. Uh, for something that you want to get the absolute most out of, you do 
if it's a, most T6 are divided, so it has two inlets. So you take both inlets of a V8 bank and you put them into that. So uh, it ends up working better. Most of the time you get a little bit more power out of it. Usually you increase spool. There's a lot of benefits to it. Uh, people much smarter than I am can explain this and show you visuals. Trust them. Uh, <laughs> but what he's never done and always wanted to do is build a divided log. So he's building that right now and he's in the middle of it. And he's like, oh, I'll have it done by Saturday. And then uh, like Monday, Wednesday, whatever comes around and I'm like, I don't wanna bother him, but uh, how far are you on that? I'm gauging what else I need to do by when you're gonna have this done. Oh, I didn't even work on it yet. I've been a bum. <laughs> I think he's also doing engagement photos and all of a sudden. There's stuff. a lot of stuff going on in Joey's life, uh, including his actual job, the business he runs, personal. Uh, a lot of you understand this, I get it too but I was just having fun poking at him and he's like, I didn't even do anything. Okay, so that's what's going on with the truck. I need I need updates because I feel like I ask you and then I feel like time goes by. So what's going on with the G? Oh, the G, it still needs more fuel. And then it has enough fuel now that I turned it up and it hurt the clutch. Okay. And I turned it back down. And then when I went to the dyno to go lean on it, I noticed there was an exhaust leak and it was pouring into the cab. Mm -hmm. And the dyno, we could hear it. So you broke my car. It. Broke your car. So I don't know how long the eBay exhaust has been on it, but the stainless is perfect. Oh, yeah, you used the factory exhaust. I used in that, that well, I used the eBay aftermarket kazoo exhaust that was on it for yeah. what I had. So I blew out a flex section, so I want to replace both. And then it's a big. And I've been working on the clutch thing for you. It's a big thing where. Uh, do I leave it alone? Do we go to a dual disc? And then once there's a dual disc in it, I'm going to do a fuel system because I have to see the resolution for that. I have to know. So then I'm going to have more fuel and then I'm going to have more clutch. Do I port the blower? Do I spray it? Do I, how, how far do I chase it? Do I find the limit of the transmission then and hate myself? Cause I, yeah, you know, so I've been sitting on that a little bit and working on the truck. The G is up on the jacks, I gotta drop the exhaust and cut the flexes out, see how badly they're blown out, replace them, put, a, put the exhaust back on, and at least we can drive it. Because it was really bad. You would The minute you'd slow down for like a stoplight, it would just pour in the car and make your eyes blow. Yeah, I can't it. drive it right now. I asked to take it out and he told me that yeah, I it can't. Was, it was bad for me, so it's gonna be, it's gonna you, be you, real your bad tolerance for, for that is way lower than mine. Yeah, I'm not gonna. And I was like, I was freezing out and I was dying. I was like, whoa, I'm gonna pass out. It was real bad. <laughs> so you're waiting on stuff. And the Mustang New Edge just sits there until you're finished with these We two. are working on relationships to make that thing awesome. Yeah. Is what I want to say. I made a post in Sloppy about what was your uh, favorite build uh, that Matt's done. And obviously everybody knows that mine's the G. But I am really excited about the New Edge. I honestly think Because there's that no plan. There's no plan. And there's and no... And I'm open to suggestion. We don't have to do anything. Matt doesn't have to do anything specific. He could literally just stand on it and shit on it if he really wanted to. <laughs> I just got a visual. Oh my God. Oh. We my are going to dyno it with the V6. And I think it'd be fun to just drive down and dyno it and have it make no power. And we can laugh and come home. I kind of wish it was manual though. I really do. So you could thrash it with no power? Or what? Yeah. Like a Magnum T56 or what? I kind of just wish like it was even manual. more crazier trans. This is just a stock tranny, but you mean like an aftermarket Tremec setup in it or something? Something in the, yeah. Just because you always do car. automatics and you know that I hate those shifters that you put in all of them. Well, it would be ADE. It would shift on its own, just like every truck you'd like that I've owned. Oh, well, that'd be okay. But I still like manual. My big thing is the big power is harder to put down through the stick and it's not as enjoyable, to be quite honest. Excuse me. I enjoy the G35 very much so. I've so. already, I've said it and people immediately showed disapproval. I was like, it'd be much easier to sell my entire engine back setup transmission and put a hundred dollar ADE in since I have a Terminator X on it now. I can attach the tranny and that car would be so nice to drive with an auto and a little converter. You could sip, you could drink a coffee and just spank on people and spin them off and- And, and what? A, and a G. You could, I could put like a- No, 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 no. There's, no. In, there's Nissan and Infiniti steering wheels we that have, have paddles. I could wire that we into have the went Terminator. From man Possibly making the Mustang manual to you modifying my beautiful G. Even well, then I can put that transmission in the. You need to back it up. The other car. You need to back it up. When I take that You're trans out to today. do a twin disc, I can put it. You're in sassy the, today. Yeah. 
not a huge fan of it. See, I can drink my coffee and thrash that thing just fine. The cup holders are short. You better be careful. I know they're short. That's why I cup don't holder, get. If you guys don't know, I don't get a venti. Cup holders in a G are like that shallow. I get one day. You got a tall SOV. Yeah, water bottle actually falls out if I if I thrash it a I little bit. I open the the armrest thing and put stuff in it, so it, and it still falls over. But but anyways, that's some updates. So if full disclosure, if Tremec is watching. <laughs> And they want to send a four thousand dollar transmission, and then whoever makes a Tilton McLeod or some crazy twin triple disc company wants to make a shout out. I am not above accepting that right now for that car. Normally, it's all about the budget. So we are restarting because somebody called Cameron Powers. Yeah, we're, we're recording on my phone. Yeah, we record on the phone. It makes it a lot easier. Than the big camera, I get a better. The big view. camera is a bad focal rate. Don't yeah, don't even yeah, whatever. So, anyways, here we are. We're still banter. We're still going back and forth. Uh yeah, you guys want to send stuff for the Mustang? Cool. Oh, you're yeah. already sending me stuff. It's more than I could ask for. Uh, if you have some crazy stuff that wants to get highlighted, we can get crazy. That thing really. Uh, I'm in the. I don't know if it's gonna be like a crazy unlimited or just. Nice and fun. We want, or it's gonna be nice and fun. Realistically, the 500 horsepower BS build is fun, but uh, I don't know. Part of me, there's that whole the exploration, experimentation. Uh, is this stuff the this stuff fun? Do I want to go a little bit crazy or do I want to whatever? So yeah. Well, we know what happens when you try to go crazy. Well, race car is just a bad idea I tell people all the time well for you especially for me I understand yeah, you guys don't get along no as soon as I'm like well more race the car's like <laughs> <laughs> and Jamie's like let's push I, it in a pond I come out and the rod's hanging out and I didn't touch anything it's like hey I'm like uh I'm doing hot wheel transactions when, you, when I call it just a, a beat up street car, nothing happens. I like beat up street, like what's wrong with a nice little street car? Know, we need something for a Sunday drive. Yeah, there's no Sunday drivers right now. Well, the no. G is nice. And we've been, I've been planning a burnout video different, with Matt though. and like everything's freaking apart. Yeah. Everything is apart. I plan a burnout. You can do it with the G, I mean the, the Kia. No. No one will care. Except for Justin Kramer. Oh, I would think it's pretty nice. Because he is all about the G. I think a I lot mean, of people would be like, whoa. Yeah. If they haven't seen the picture of me doing one before. I did post it in my thing. They're probably that, like, what is that, Kia? Is it on fire? No, those are the tires, bro. Sorry, it looks cooler than your Mustang burnout. Oh. Anyway. Anyway. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone. For continued support and sending me stuff even though you do not have to even though I tell you you do not have to you still do very cool of all of you so it'll be awesome it kind of be cool to surprise him kind of hard to I don't have his address right it's now. not that hard I think it's pretty much in his YouTube videos well, then it's, I'm an ass and it's really easy we should have I thought you already talked to him well I kind of wanted to make sure he could use it I didn't want to send it to him he'd be like cool now I have to spend money to put this on. That's what I didn't want to stick him with. So. All right. Well, everyone, have a good rest of your day.